Do I speak to uh, the matter of the fire, Auntie Jimmy? Um, well, I, I saw there's a flyer going around for a fundraiser for right. Tom Hayes and uh, Phyllis Hayes and the kids and all. Yeah. Just want to let you all know they are they're in a house uh, down at the end of a uh, night court. They're uh, her aunt's house actually. It's, it was vacant, so they they have a place. And I want to thank the entire neighborhood for the donations. It's unbelievable how you how everybody came through for <coughs> bags and bags of clothes, money. Uh, Danny Cavanaugh, he's just showed me a number. It's unbelievable. Within a couple of days, we're up to $1,750 before the fundraiser. So I want to thank you all so much. There is another issue. There is a, let me stand up. Um, Kathy Winters was visiting with Tom, and she was living upstairs. She has no insurance at all. And um, we were able to actually, we got her a home to stay in. Um, the owner of the home said, don't worry about any rent or anything. She just has to pay for uh, gas and electric, which is wonderful. We're going over this this weekend to uh, get the house ready for her. I have another person through Dan, thank you very much, that's uh, willing to donate furniture, beds, uh, couches, end tables, and all that. But uh, we're going to have a fundraiser for her at the court club, uh, probably February 13th. So um, I'm going to go speak with Tom Hayes tonight. He's got her number and all that, so we'll take care of that. And I'm going to take you up on your offer to bring her over to the BX and uh, something about the flea market. Right. There she can come down. And get whatever she Jerry, needs. I'll let uh, if, let me interrupt you a moment. I'll let Jerry take a <coughs> breath. Jerry, stand up and tell him about the. Well, uh, we, we said that anytime they wanted to come into the thrift shop, uh, I gave them a number to call. Okay. They can call me, uh, and we'll open it up for them. Okay. And they can take what they want. There's a lot of new stuff in there, a lot of good stuff. Right. So, whatever they need is open to them. Right now the Hayes's, thankfully, are they're actually well taken care of by everybody, but uh, Kathy was kind of left out in the cold a little bit. She's, well, she's in the shelter right too. now, it so goes for too. before I leave, I'll get your number. Yeah, and my I'll number, I'll give you the other number, and yeah, that would not be a problem. problem. That would be wonderful. Okay. I like the number at the court club, but today I went in the back and I spoke to them, and they said they have uh, housing utensils, they have yeah. uh, dinnerware, they have yeah. everything. And many of the things are new. It's not all, you know, you're not getting like 15 generations <coughs> down. That's, so yeah. uh, they're, they're ready. And they generally open to two, but they will open at any time. Okay. It's convenient for them. That'll be great. Right. Just get me some phone numbers and uh, we'll get Kathy in place and then we'll see what happens okay. after that. But uh, right. no, thanks everybody for the, the support that was given. It was I think it's a terrible issue here, though. And that was with the fire hydrants. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's this is terrible, disgraceful. All right, we have a we have a firehouse that's not a not not a, as active as other firehouses in this area, and yet seven hydrants were frozen stiff. They're supposed to be all serviced in the, in the fall of the year. So why do we have the, all those frozen hydrants? The house might not have been half as bad as it was, yeah. and that's reminiscent of what happened. What was it ten years ago on Garland Court? The same thing. Frozen same hydrants thing, same again? Thing with my house, too. Yeah, well, the house got burned down on Lester Court of 25 years ago. Three people died yeah, in yeah. the fire because mm -hmm. of the hydrants. Yeah, and now, and, and, and now all of a sudden, the day after, they're running all around Yarrowson Beach checking hydrants. <laughs> yeah, that, check actually, that day, they were in they were here. They were here by the church the other day yeah. checking hydrants. The day that the fire Terrible. happened, our firehouse Disgraceful. was in another neighborhood cleaning those fires, you know, getting those ready. So. It's something to look into. There's this, a certain fire hydrant that we can put down here, but it's a, it's a lot of work. But it's definitely. But if they're serviced properly in the fall, you don't have that problem either. Right. But they they constantly leak, and that's what happens. They they fill up and then they freeze. Even if you put antifreeze in them, speaking with all the firemen, even if you put antifreeze in them, they still drip and they still come up to the top, and that's where the problem is. If you can, if the valves work properly, they shut off a couple of feet underground and they don't freeze. So if they leak, it actually fills up slowly, uh -huh. and uh, even you can maintenance them in the fall, and then by the winter they're going to be full again, and they'll freeze again. So there's a bigger issue about just draining them. The fire hydrants are uh, inundated. They need, we need new fire hydrants. We we're, we're going obviously we have to pursue that, but I would like to just take it back for a moment to Jimmy and to uh, uh, Danny. I, I was standing on the corner uh, when the fire was going on, and at that point, Jimmy Donovan said, we're going to go back to the car club and start raising money and getting what these people need. So thank you. You deserve a lot of credit for that.
Yeah. 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 I know at yeah, one point yeah. today it was up to thirteen hundred. Seventeen fifty. Seventeen hundred. Just through my website. On this from the website. Uh, you you have to hold many fundraisers at the time of far and elsewhere to come up to that figure in the in the short time that he did. When he put that donation uh, site up, uh, he happened to call. It was like an hour. He had four hundred dollars. So that's just the beginning. There was one thing issue that came up. The Hayes family did not really want us using their name so much, and that's why you see for the family, because they felt they were not alone. As you mentioned, the people who were upstairs, visitors, uh, they were affected. The people next door were affected. Yeah, and that's so, a lot of damage. Uh, a lot of this fundraising, the monies will be distributed according to the time. Jimmy, we're putting a flyer in the paper that's coming out Saturday. I met with Officer Hayes for the 30th at the Tamaquot. If you want to put a flyer in, get it to me, and then we'll put it in the next show. setting up the date. As soon as I do that, I'll build the flyer and I'll come see you. It's going in Saturday? Yeah, the paper's coming out. The paper's coming out. Yeah, yeah. The next one is going to come out on the 23rd. Yeah, yeah, I'll get it to you by the 23rd. Well, before the 23rd. Yeah, by the, before the 23rd. Yeah, no problem. Uh, yeah, anybody have any questions? Rand, with my, with my wife's Do you have any way we can find out if there's a problem with the response time? Did you know that was it to be you and yeah. Garrison? Yeah, that, you know, I'm sure we've all thought about that. Uh, but. There was so much happening. I don't have it in front of me, but I wrote what that I, I started doing the property owners call. And one thing I did write uh, that I gave Joel this morning it comes out Saturday, and not because I wrote it, because it's something every one of us has thought about. When you look down uh, Devon and Channel, and you saw nothing but fire engines a line up, and then up Garrison Avenue, nothing but fire vehicles. And that was a tool along. Now my point, which I made there, is that what if it had been at Danza's, on the Danza property, where they're talking about 56 to 64 units? What if the fire had happened there? There was only one avenue in there and one or two courts because you have dead ends. You got Lake Hunt Court, dead ends. Uh, you got a couple of courts right there. They would, if there had been a fire down there, what would have happened? So the point I'm trying to make is overdevelopment, and we've got to go at that. I think it'd be great if the man builds something, but uh, it has to be, it can't be overdevelopment. It has to be within the Again, you can't say character of neighborhood anymore because everything is changing, even our houses. But uh, as, as we talk to people and our politicians, let's keep reminding them. Uh, even the pictures on Danny's site and the pictures in Joel's paper, you, you can't help but see where the hell do you go. There were people who couldn't get out of the beach who were stuck behind fire engines for a day. Uh, so these are all matters the, the fire hydrants, I, I checked, as Jim mentioned too, I've checked with several people, it's a constant problem. And right now, uh, according to the papers today, or the news, we're in a cold snap like we had in the 70s. So there's almost no avoiding it. Uh, but it, it did seem like a day late in the dog show had come out here yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, but they've been working, I talked to Chief uh, uh, Zapp, he said, they have been coming around working from King's Highway on out, and somebody from the beach has a relative who had been working on these hydrants. They just, just they lost control of it. It's not only this neighborhood, though. I mean, the fire hydrant trees everywhere. It happened, you know, like you hear of, you know, everywhere, you know, the fire, the fires are getting out of control because the fire hydrants are not right. working everywhere, you know. Bob? Well, as I don't recall when I was a kid that the fire hydrants were freezing at that time. Like Jerry said, it's poor maintenance. 
everything's better back than it was before. Right. 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 Now, every house in Garrett's and Beach now is subjective. God forbid there's another fire. Yeah, Last year they went around. This year and they I'm didn't. I'm sorry. That's right. They didn't go around at all this year. I'm sorry to beat a dead horse, but in reference to the Parks Department, Lou Fiddler was told before 